How does a water fall get made? Hi, I'm Faith Fitzpatrick. I work at the U.S. Geological Survey out of the Wisconsin Water Science Center. So how are waterfalls made? Well, it basically takes like four things to make a waterfall. The first one is water, of course, and then the second one is to have some kind of land surface that's made out of different rock types or sediment. And then the next one is to have a vertical drop in that land surface. And then the fourth one, which is really important, is gravity, because that's what makes the water flow downhill. Um, so you put all those things together and you end up with a waterfall. And what happens is as the water flows across the land surface, it starts to erode. And as it erodes over long periods of time, if it meets up with some rock that's of different uh, erodibility, um, it basically can withstand the, the force of the water working on it. Um, and that rock stays in place and um, it ends up forming that vertical drop then. So how long do waterfalls last for? Um, it really depends on how um, long that rock can withstand um, the uh, water from it. So some waterfalls do last for a really long time. Other ones, they basically work themselves upstream. I think some of the fastest ones are like about a meter and a half per year. It doesn't like happen in a gradual process. Um, a lot of times because it's rock, the, the rock end up um, uh, being uh, plucked out, we call it, by the flowing water in large chunks. So you actually get what's called the retreat rate can happen pretty quickly, maybe during a flood when there's a lot of water working on the, on the waterfall. And then um, during periods where there's not as much flow, the waterfall might not change that much. The number of waterfalls in Wisconsin, we, we actually have quite a few waterfalls, maybe over 100 or so, uh, basically because we have such a varied uh, geology in our state. So even though like in areas where you have glaciers, um, where Wisconsin was mostly covered by, by glaciers, so we have a lot of sediment that erodes easily, there's other places where the rocks stick up out of that sediment and that's where we get those vertical drops. 